Welcome back to another episode of The Reality Guys. I am your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. What's up? This is episode 27 of season two of The Reality Guys. We are here to cover, funny enough, episode two of Love Never Lies. That is a Netflix original that dropped a few weeks ago. It's a, originally a Spanish channel show, um, so we have to put the English subtitles and dub on, which I know Brian has a lot of comments on, and we will get to that. Um, if this is your first time watching The Reality Guys, please like and subscribe so you can check out all of our content. You can recently see I went through and changed all the playlists. So every episode is in the playlist, Reality Guys main episode. So if you just want to have all of our content running or go through everything, everything's in that playlist. But I did separate and do copies. So there's things that we mainly cover the Bachelor and Bachelorette franchise, the Survivor franchise challenge and then things like this any miscellaneous shows there will be a playlist now for love never lies um but also the first reaction first impression bros where we first saw this show where we do our first live reactions of pilots of reality shows or even just single episodes we want to check out and we give recommendations on whether you should cover that or watch that show excuse me further on so um like i said love never lies netflix this is episode two like I said, for our review of episode one, go back to Reality Guys episode 25. It's uh, labeled Love Never Lies. Is it worth watching? Um, so, Bri, why don't you start bringing us through the episode here? So, like Bill said, we, we did we watched episode one, but we didn't really do a lot of talking. That There's a lot of laughing is really kind of what, uh, <laughs> because we had just been introduced to the show, like, with one of our ideas, and we just, we kind of honestly fell in love with it, like, I wasn't expecting a lot from the like what I watched before I watched it with Bill. And it really grew on both of us, I think, ne especially near the end. Once we got to the Sauron screen, telling oh people, like, who's telling the truth and who's not, and like the money value thing, I thought it was actually like a pretty good concept. And Bill and I are really hoping for an American version of this show because I think it's going to be, it could be really popular, I think. I agree, Bri. I mean, it really it feeds on the whole reality TV dating thing, which America is super into. But there's also a big aspect of greed involved in this show, yeah. which, you know, I was very surprised at the level of greed at some of the contestants here in America. It would be a feeding. Oh, person. yeah. We're going to get a ton of like people pretending to be together and then like they're like half together. But then when they see somebody sleep with somebody else, then emotions will come out, which does happen on the show. Spoiler alert. I've watched this entire entire season today so i've <laughs> seen episode two so far so i'm gonna do my best not to give anything away and i, I it's fresh in my mind so they kind of just like throw you in on uh episode one like hey this is what's gonna happen they have a good preview like this is the what's gonna go on during the season and episode two i didn't write down the name of the host but she's a singer um she the host and like, God damn it, I'm mad that I don't remember. I'm going to find it. Just, just, just kill so, time, Brian. So the host comes to the house. It's a beautiful villa. And is like, hey, everybody. Monica. 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 She come, Monica comes and she goes, hey, everybody. Half of you are going to leave this villa. And once that happened on the show, Bill, I was like, let's go. Like, I didn't know what they were going to do. Like, we knew exes are like. Um, like target, not targets, I guess, but like potential matches. Yeah, yeah. But I, I like, I actually like it a lot more how they did it on this show, where it's like half go away, only that half gets to have the temptation, and the other people have to sit and kind of stew. And I think that really builds the tension and the drama of what happens at the end of the season, but especially on this episode, because like no one knows what's going on, and the people that get the guest think the other people have the guess and it's just a trick it's yeah. such a despicably yeah. amazing move on the part of the producers an amazing twist to a trope that we've seen and especially yeah, we've covered temptation island before but the idea at least with temptation island you both get paired off with people right away and they're singles and you have access these poor bastards sitting in this studio in episode two having to watch and get nothing in return. You know, I know you are going to say anything, but like, I know that when these people get to flip and get to do that, 
one, they're just going to be mad because they're pent up. But there's also the revenge factor yeah, revenge involved. Factor, sure. There's yeah. such a revenge factor involved that like this show is not set up to keep these people together. There is this is not this is like who's going to get money. Is there one couple that somehow survives? And like you said, it's like a fake couple. And uh, I, I'm all for it. I think it's a great twist. Yeah, it, it's it's such a good idea. And I, what I really liked about it, Bill, is it wasn't it wasn't something that like, I've seen before. Like, like you said, Temptation Island really is like um, the, I think the comp here of like how they're separated by villas and things like that. Yeah. But the way they chose who was coming to tempt the people, I thought was really smart. Like some of them, we have like a history with this person. Some of them are just like the compatibility they think could work out. And I thought they did a pretty good job with who they selected because a lot of the guys that came to like tempt the girls, the guys immediately before they, cause they did a video where it's like, they're wearing a mask and that guy's like, I know who that is. It's Elias. I know that guy. Elias got sussed out instantly. Yeah. And you're, you're, I, there is a very good mix. Yeah. And like, even like the one dude, um, I think his name is uh, Danny, Daniel. He even calls out one of the guys who was just like, Hey, that guy sang at my restaurant. Like, it's just like that one was intense, dude, because that was the that was Christian. That was Christian, right? Yeah, he's a singer. The guy that came was Christian. Yeah, instantly says that she's yeah. So Christian was is it says Paul is X, but I think he wasn't really. I wrote Paul is yeah, X, but it wasn't. Yeah, I, X. I think you find. No, out. I just wrote. I wrote that in my like real time thinking yeah. that, but then I the next note says he's a singer. I wrote he's a singer and a cuck. Yeah. But like, <laughs> remember, remember what I said in in the uh, episode one. I said because there's that cast member Christina who I said is like the drunk aunt that everyone has, and you can't trust a Christina without an H. That dude is Christian without an H. It means you can't trust him either. Yeah. And it, well, my, I, as I guess in America, like the style options of some of these people, I was not read. Like it was, we're not, I'm not accustomed to seeing those things in America. Wouldn't you agree? No, no, no. Like a lot of, and I have nothing, I have no issues with it, but like a lot of tattoos, there's a lot of tattoos here, but like a lot of male piercings. A lot of piercings on this season. I'm gonna have like to talk a Spanish thing, so I don't know if that's a good, yeah. like a like a thing in Spain or whatever. But like, I'm about to talk to um, one of my European friends and see if that's the the case over there in all countries. But I do just like how you have some of these people that introduce themselves with the girl Candy. Just basically, all she said was that I'm a seducer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you also like how they came in with the mask on of the people? <sighs> I did. I thought I what I liked more was later in the episode when yep. there was the preview video where they were Weird. like a troll because they had the uh, like the people that weren't theirs faces on like that was that was trolling. Right. And it, that's where I think the language like this is those things where I think the language barrier kind of like they'd be like, oh, I know that like, there's definitely like some slang in there because I even noticed on the subtitles. They don't do some of the curses don't make it. They the like the when they yeah. say the audible um it oh god i can't even the translation they have the curses there but not on the the text on the, on the yeah, subtitles yeah so i feel like we're missing some of i think we would like some of these interactions more with the the slang of that area i said to you in our chat before our recording of episode 26 which was the bachelorette episode six I said that if I spoke Spanish, this would be my favorite oh, reality show of all time. It'd be, yeah. I, I kind of have to tend to agree. I got an app for dual, dual lingo on something I was using. It was like, should I pick it up and rewatch the show? Becoming bilingual has always been something that people like say is like a really good motivation, whether it's for business, for travel, just to expand your brain. But I may have finally found the one thing that makes me want to get a Rosetta Stone to be able to speak Spanish. And it's just to be able to watch Love Never Lies in its native tongue. And I think it's only this country that doesn't know more than one language as well. Oh, obviously. Because so, we're, we're ignorant of shit. Yeah. But it's not going to stop me from watching the show because I love it. No. Um, and the thing I also like, Bill, is the lie detector screen isn't – there wasn't one this episode. And since I watched it, it's not every episode, which I actually like. Like, it's kind of like a special event when the lie detector comes out so you're, you're talking about sauron yeah i'm talking about sauron yeah yeah okay yeah well sauron's not you know sauron's in the pre in the beginning of the first movie kind of pops up here and there and then really hard at the end you know right. what i mean like that's how it should work yeah and i like that 
I like it. It's a special event when this is going to happen. And it definitely threw everyone for a loop. Like the, a lot of the, a lot of the guys, like the guys weren't like, remember when you was like, you can pay to see a video of what happened. Yeah, the, the Pornhub premium, yeah, Pornhub premium, uh, only fans. Like you could pay, you could you watch your basic and then the premium. And like, wasn't the guys were like, I don't need to watch it. Or was it the chicks? No, see, yeah, yeah the, well, they, what did they turn? They turned down. Well, no, they all wanted to say all saw the premium version. Or was it? It was the other. The, it was the know. other thing. What was the thing they turned? They turned, turned something down. Oh, earlier. right. To see who was under the mask. Yeah. yeah. The, the and they did. all they the three thousand. Yeah. The girls did and the guys didn't. It wasn't like it wasn't like all of them did it. It was only a select few. It was like half. I'm pretty sure it was the chicks. They were like, oh, I need to see who. You might be mixing yourself in the future already. <laughs> Am I really? I have what I have here is the as far as like the payment things was that you could pay a thousand dollars to see their faces. Yeah, yeah right. And that. then that's where some of the girls did. Yeah, but, that's right. but yeah, you know, that is that's the one. So a thousand dollars to see their faces. Not everyone did. So Laura didn't, but the blonde girl, Christina, did. And that's what sparked the fight between Laura and Christina because Laura said you're, you're selfish. You're wasting my money. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> right. Right. I, I, I was I'm, I'm really trying not to. No, no, no. You're good. No, you weren't wrong. It was it was just that it wasn't that all the girls turned it down. The girl, Christina, said she wanted to. And that's what got Laura triggered. And they've gotten the first that was the first confrontation over group money, which I'm sure there's more to come. Right. And I'll, another thing I do like is I like that they didn't split it. Guy, girl, guy versus girls. It's like three and three. And I think that kind Very of cool. better bond between everybody. It's just these subtle little changes, man, that like everyone's always by gender and it's just so refreshing to see it mixed up. And it's like I said, with these little add ons, like the money and the dynamic, and we'll get to more of the money thing in a second here. I think when we talk about the uh, what we did, we said the premium version thing and then even uh, the how much money would they pay for a trailer? <laughs> yeah, right. Like of who who is coming. <laughs> It's just these little changes that really have made me a huge fan of the show. And like I said, you've seen the whole season. I am with the audience that we're watching right now. I'm two episodes in. So like I said, it's even the teases. I'm just, I want to see that dynamic devolve. My question to you was, were you surprised that literally not one person turned down the premium video? Um, I was a little surprised, but um, I guess like it's just like, I feel like your emotions are probably running high. And the other thing we didn't mention and I think we met, you actually said this as a comment on the, when we were watching it live, a lot of these guys are scumbags. They're all <laughs> they suck. people that you think are good. They're really not. They all suck. Think about it. Yeah. So there's a select few that are like, as the season goes on, you're like, okay, like this is a, this person has good intentions, but I don't think a lot of them do a lot. Half of them have cheated on each other. They have all cheated on each other and lied right before the season started. So that's what's, but that's, what's so good about reality TV is that like you do quickly forget that half of these people treat each other like shit. You just, the shock and like the reactions, because it's how you would react. You got to remember folks, like most of us watching this and Brian and I participating, like you're in regular relationships. You wouldn't go on one of these shows. You don't have old loves that you're still holding a candle for, right. and like a thing or a light or a flame for, like any, whatever the goddamn phrase is. Point being is that like these people, most of them are like 22, yeah, 21. They shouldn't 20. be on the show to begin with, but but again, who cares if you break up? No, there's nothing like no cares. But that's why I love the show though, because th we really shouldn't care. But the money part changes it and the lie detector test changes it and bringing in people's exes it's just so goddamn juicy dude it right. just it, it's perfect cocktail something that uh presley always says to me is like when we be watching temptation island or would you do that on the show i'd be like first of all i wouldn't be on the show ever even if i was in a crappy relationship i wouldn't be on tv acting a fool me personally but just need to add that in there after what you said like oh we are normal relationships like the question comes up or does a joke and it's like i wouldn't even be on the show and i'd be uninteresting i wouldn't be dealing with this crap no way no so, no yeah just good stuff um anybody stick out to you like as a character that you really like are looking forward to like seeing how it goes 
<laughs> I want to see how far this Elias guy is willing to go. He's very, he's stated his intentions very clearly for, you know, so like I, I need to see like, I mean, Catherine already looks like she's very swoopable. So we kind of seen that at the end of episode two, it, it, they gave the implication that they went off into the bedroom together. They didn't show any kind of like sex or any kind of implication of that, but it does seem like she is very swoopable. Um, I'm trying to think who else really, I mean, there's a lot of them that like I do enjoy, but I, I like I said, it's, it's more so that it's just like a, I want to see Laura. I want to see her revenge because she's just been the only one like really implying that like I just just flip sides just wait till we flip sides and I'm like yeah because she just found out she got cheated on when she gave him an out apparently right before they got there and he lied and he was like I thought that like he basically implied that he thought like he would find out worse things about her and like it would even out but yeah he's an idiot yeah Laura so. Laura is one of the ones that I originally I mean, I still feel this way. Like, she's the one that I think is, like, not – she had. She actually didn't cheat. Like, I didn't get that intention from her. Yeah, based yeah, yeah. Off the reactions of episode one and episode two. Like, what was she – she was the one – it's like, he was like, oh, I, like, the guy was flirting with her, but she was talking about math. Like – Yeah, yeah, Like, it was like – that That relationship is very weighted on – because, like – um audrey he reminds me of like when we were in college like he just yeah, yeah. out. he's trying to party and that makes you question like why like you said earlier like why are you on the show when you're so young like it's so young you're <laughs> obviously like you're obviously kind of an f boy dude it doesn't mean you're a bad guy you're young and like you're just like not gonna commit you're not getting married and like i mean laura's beautiful i mean she's like from all tens like yeah it would be a girl like you would date and be at that age right. and stuff too but like at the end of the day, like he's flirty, like it's just what it's going to be. That was also <laughs> Candy said that she was a lioness. And then that was the line of episode two was um, I don't know who says it, but it was one of the yeah, one of the two gay guys goes. She's as ugly as a lioness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. Yeah, I do. That was my like line the, of the episode. The peanut gallery that they are just listening in on. That you could see everyone's private okay. video. Yeah, I think it's really great because. It, ta it, it takes away the element of having to go explain it. Like everyone saw yeah. it. We heard it. So, oh, and they all have comments. They're all so petty. It's great. Yeah, I, it, it's, yeah it's so good. Um, the, the, so here's the thing my issue with Audrey. It's like, he's like, oh, I don't think Laura's fun. Just have you taken her out with you once? Like, are you just assuming that she's not fun? Or like, just he's take such an her asshole. out one time. She's like, I'll go out with you. I'll party. I'm down. And she, again, she's a beautiful girl. Like, take her out dude like he just wants to he just likes having something he's an f boy he likes having something at home and then likes to go have fun like just right. dump her man like let, let the girl loose and now guess what you're gonna see what it's like I, I have a very good feeling you're gonna get to see what it's like dude and you're gonna be like oh this sucks like why am i here like i should just be out partying right now and it's like i gotta watch a girl get, hook up with somebody in front of me to spite me like I love the show. As you said, some of the characters, like I love some. It's I just, again, I just, I don't love any of them really individually too much. I just love the dynamic and the interaction and I'm looking forward to episode three and beyond, but episode two definitely really has set the table for me to springboard for the rest of the season. So, yeah. And it really, I think picks up like you, you're kind of just thrown in, like you're thrown in on episode one and two and then three, you're kind of like settling down, like, what the what's going to happen on the show so you kind of can like oh this happened here let's see what's going to happen when it's flipped like you kind of they're giving you a lot of information really quickly on yeah two. so I, i'm excited to see what you have to say about three oh, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when we do that i'm going to rewatch just to freshen my mind cool I don't spoil anything like i was worried for a second earlier that i did but no you didn't know we figured it out all good we're one for one so far yeah. um like Brian said, everyone, like, so this will be um, episode 27. So he like said episode 26 will be the bachelor bachelorette. We will get, you'll probably have a challenge. We may have this. I'm not sure as far as episode order, but you will get the challenge and you will get more of love never lies probably sometime over the weekend late. And we'll have those episodes flurried out. And then like we said next week, back to our normal schedule of having bachelor challenge survivor, 
all that good stuff. And when I mentioned challenge, we're doing both spies, lies and allies and uh, challenge all stars season two. So please like and subscribe uh, to all that kind of stuff to catch. Um, Brian, do you have anything to close out episode two? I do not. But if anyone's still watching, definitely please give Bill and myself ideas for shows or you should think that shows that we haven't seen. And we'll definitely watch it on this uh, new mini series that we started doing because I, I honestly had a great time doing it. It was probably one of my favorite edits of all time. <laughs> it was funny. And we'll get better at it, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I was doing that like while working. I don't want to say that out loud, but I was doing a lot of it because I was like, I need to, we need to get this out because I think it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And definitely give us ideas. Like, that's the one thing I, I want to say. Anybody, even if it's just one person, just be like, hey, I think you should watch the show. And Bill and I haven't, haven't seen it. We're watching it. It's next Yeah. Home. And look, and if so far we're one for one. Emily, my wife, told us about this show. And now, and we've done that in the past. Look, we used to review other things. And in the future, when we do start to review other things, that will kind of be the same kind of rule. We're not guaranteeing that we're going to review everything that someone sends in. But hey, we were going to try things out. And if we do like it, we're going to let people know that we liked it. And um, again, the idea is just so we can check some things out to one, save some people time if things aren't good. But more importantly, too, if some things are good, we can put things out there that we can all talk about. And we love creating things that people can talk about and talk about other people's content, like these shows that are great that don't. Yeah, they're especially this show. Do not get the recognition they yeah. deserve. Right. Yeah. And we'll definitely shout you out too if you give us a. Oh, obviously, whoever lets us know. Um, but yeah, Bryce. So until we are back for episode three of Love Never Lies uh, from myself and Brian, peace. See you.